Hello drone friends, I'm here today to talk about strobe lights, specifically the three statute miles requirement you need to meet with your drone for part 107 night flying. And today we're specifically going to talk about this one, the Firehouse Technology Arc V strobe anti-collision light. This little guy is IP67 rated. It has a four and a half hour lifespan running on a 240 mAh rechargeable LiPo battery and it only weighs a whopping four grams. Let's check it out. You'll see that I'm wearing a Pilot Institute t-shirt. My friends over at the Pilot Institute put out a video where they compared several options of strobe lighting for your drones. You can check out that video. The link is in my description. Spoiler, the winner of their comparison was this guy. Inside the box, we have our little instructions, the light itself, a micro USB charging cable, and some 3M Velcro tape. If you're not familiar with this kind of 3M tape, it is extremely strong. And once you put it on and let it cure, it is not coming off. So this is the real deal and not something you need to look to replace. Use this. Underneath the light, you'll notice it comes with a second pair of Velcro so that you can attach it to a second drone. And it looks like double-sided tape if you want to make it a permanent affair. So there it is. It's a lot smaller than it looks like in the pictures. In the pictures, it looks very bulky. You might be concerned that it won't fit on your drone or it's heavy. I can assure you that is not the case. Let's compare it to some drones. Here is the Tello, which is a very small drone. And there is the Arc-V on the Tello. Here is the DJI Spark. And there is the Arc-V on the DJI Spark. And here is the big boy, the DJI Phantom. If you are worried about the size of this thing, on the DJI Phantom, I would not be. There's only one place to mount it on the top of the DJI Phantom, and sadly, it is on top of the DJI logo. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So while you might be concerned about the size and weight of this light, you might be concerned about adding it to your drone, having it affect the performance and whatnot, once you grab a hold of it, place it on your drone, and realize how little it weighs, those concerns will go away. It weighs absolutely nothing, and there's no way a serious drone like a Phantom or a Mavic will be affected by this light at all. Next up is to charge this little guy. You'll notice on one side there's a power button, and on the other a little USB port. It's protected by a little piece of rubber. Just pull it out. And then stick your micro USB into that port. Just like that, you'll see it's charging. There's a little red light and we'll let it sit. For those of you that are curious, I am charging this with a GoPower Plus power bank. Link in my description. When the red light turns green, you know she's fully charged and ready for use. Okay, here is the red Arc V. And here is the white RV. Let's turn them on and see what they look like. We are going to tap once for three seconds to turn it on. That's the white. That's the red. We're going to tap to change modes. That's the long blink. I'm going to tap again. That's solid. And we're going to tap again for mixed. So we're getting long and short blinks.
Tapping again will return to your original blink. And then you hold for three seconds to turn them off. Okay, I'm sitting here in the dark in one of my hobby rooms and I'm gonna fire up the ARC-5 in white. And I'm gonna fire up the ARC-5 in red. As you can see, it is quite bright and will increase your visibility tremendously while also, of course, being in compliance with FAA regulations. Okay, now to mount the ARC-5 on the Phantom 4, I'm going to put the plastic side of the Velcro on the Phantom. This way, if you're flying without the light, the cloth section of the Velcro is not being rained on and destroyed by the environment. It's being safely stored with your light when not in use. First thing to do is peel off the 3M backing. Just wiggle it loose so it doesn't peel the actual glue off the Velcro, which it will. I'm gonna place it right over my DJI logo, sad reacts only. And now I'm going to do the same with the felt like side of the 3M Velcro or hook and loop material. Peeling that off and sticking it carefully on the clean underside of the ARC-5. Then push them together and there you have it. The ARC-5 or the ARC-V, which is the Roman numeral V on the package, is now attached to your Phantom 4, your Mavic, your Spark, your Inspire, or whatever drone you choose to fly with. When the light is not going to be in use, simply peel it away and store it in the container of your choice. The longer you let this sit uninterrupted, the better the adhesive will cure and the stronger the bond you will have. After a day or two of uninterrupted curing, you'll have a very strong, mostly permanent bond to your drone that will not come off unless you make a willing effort to remove it yourself. So there you have it, the Firehouse Technologies ARC-5 or ARC-V as shown in Roman numerals on the package, signifying the five LED lights on the ARC-5. It's available in white and several colors. You can get it on eBay, Amazon, or their very own Etsy store. I will leave links in the description below. Those of you future pilots out there, don't forget to visit my friends at the Pilot Institute. My affiliate link and coupon code are in the description below. Grab yourself an ARC-V, mount it appropriately on your drone, and get started enjoying your night flying. That's all I've got for you today. Wheels up, or for us drone pilots, no wheels at all. You're on Greg Adventure. I'm Greg, and these are today's adventure.